Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure direct inward system access with CLI authentication one call in Eternity P, G and ME. Direct inward system access is commonly known as DSA. It allows extension users of Eternity to access features and facilities of their extension from a remote location. This is possible using the trunks on which DSA feature is enabled. Eternity offers three variants of DSA. Each has specific method of authentication and level of access. They are DSA with CLI authentication multiple calls, DSA with CLI authentication one call, and DSA with PIN authentication multiple calls. Out of these three DSA variants, let us see the configuration of DSA with CLI authentication one call. If DSA with CLI authentication one call is enabled on a trunk of Eternity, when a user calls on it, the system authenticates him by matching his CLI with the entries of the DSA CLI authentication table. On successful authentication, the system allows him to auto-login into his extension. On login, the user directly gets the dial tone of the trunk configured in the outgoing trunk bundle group for trunk access code 1 of his extension. On getting the dial tone, the user can dial the desired external number. Once a call is completed, the user is logged out from the DSA mode. If the user wants to make another external call, he needs to log in to DSA mode again by calling the DSA login trunk. This way, a user can make one external call using the trunk of Eternity from a remote location. To better understand the application of this feature, let us consider this scenario. Suppose I have Eternity GE installed at my office. The trunks of Eternity have facility to make international calls and all the extensions have access to all the trunks. Further, let us assume that one of the DKP users has gone out and he wants to make an international call using the CO trunk of Eternity. In such a situation, he is able to access his extension from the remote location by calling the DSA enabled trunk and then make an international call using the trunk of Eternity. Say his DKP extension is 3001 and its port number is 1. We need to enable DSA CLI authentication one call on one of the trunks, say CO trunk 1. The configuration for this case involves two steps. Enable DSA CLI authentication one call in the trunk feature template of DSA login trunk and configure the DSA CLI authentication table. Let us start with the first step. Login to Eternity as System Engineer. On the left menu pane, under the Configuration menu, click CO Configuration. In CO Configuration, select CO Parameters. Here, the trunk feature template assigned to CO Trunk 1 is 1. Now, click on the Trunk Feature Template link. Here, for Template 1, under the options of DSA, select CLI Authentication 1 call for all three time zones, namely Working Hours, Break Hours and Non-Working Hours. Then, submit the page. We have completed the first step. Now, let us see the second step of configuring the DSA CLI Authentication table. On the left menu pane, click on DSA CLI Authentication. Now, under the option of calling party's number, enter the user's number. Next, under the options of auto login as, we need to program the user's extension type and port number. As extension 3001 is a DKP, select the port type as DKP and configure the port number as 1. 
Finally, submit the page. Thus, we are done with all the steps. Now, let us see how this feature works. When the user calls CO trunk 1, the system compares the CLI received with the number programmed in the CLI authentication table. If the user's CLI matches, he successfully logs into DSA mode. He gets the dial tone of the trunk configured in the outgoing trunk bundle group for trunk access code 1 of his DKP extension. Then, he can directly dial the desired external number. After completion of the call, the user will be logged out from the DSA session. Thus, we have seen the configuration and working of DSA with CLI authentication one call. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sure that this will be useful to you. If you need any more help, please contact Matrix Technical Support.